Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and I've got just two kind of under the radar Seiko new releases. It is the Arnie, and it is back. It is back, right? It is back in uh, two different uh, color variations. Both of them are IP plated, uh, but they look pretty nifty. Kind of like their um, I think they called it the Urban Jungle or Urban Safari kind of motif to them. Um, really slick looking. I uh, I have them here. Gonna show them to you. My own. I'm still doing that. Remember that White Dial Island there? Wow, I've been wearing it the last couple of days. I'm really liking it. I love it. Um, can I like it more than the blue one? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't own the blue one yet. Um, the white one, like I said, was hanging out on my desk. And of course, oops, the original uh, on the other wrist. Uh, let's check out these uh, two new Arnie's. I did a full review on the two Arnie's that were released a few months ago. Um, go check it out on YouTube. I'll try to link to it below. Uh, it is a, I did an in-depth on the watch, the movement, how it works, all the functionality. I'm not going to get into that here today. I just kind of just want to show them to you, a little show and tell. Um, but I did this in the last video. The watches are powered by the H851 movement. And what I think the coolest thing is, it's a solar movement, but to conserve energy after a predetermined period of time, maybe it's 90 minutes, a couple hours, whatever, uh, in darkness, the watch actually stops operating visibly, but still keeping time inside itself. And then once it sees light, it automatically springs back into action. That has got to be so cool. I love that. That is so nifty that it does that. I don't know. Kind of gets me going. Uh, okay, let's get rid of the box. I don't even know which one I was going to pull out here. So this is the SNJ. Oops. 031. And you saw the price on the sticker before. It is 550. So these are now done in a black IP. That's the difference. Um, this one here is done in a green motif. So it's got a green, beautiful soft rubber strap and a green shell around the case. The bezel is a little off, obviously. 120 click unidirectional ratcheting bezel, all that good stuff. So this is the re-released Arnie. There's a second one I'll show you in a minute. Let's go over just some of the specs real quick. It is 47 and a half millimeters in diameter. It is 15 millimeters thick to a flat hard lex crystal, which is actually set just below the bezel to give you a little bit of protection. It is uh, 50 millimeters, sorry, 50 millimeters tip to tip. There you can see it. And it is a 22 millimeter lug, solid screw down case back, water resistance of 200 meters. It's wearing the diver's mark, so we know that it is an ISO rated diver. Uh, it feels great in the hand. The strap, like I said, it's just like that Seiko rubber dive strap. It's so comfortable. Um, matching IP plated hardware. The, let's get into it. Let's kind of come in a little bit. Very nice looking. It is an analog digital movement. It is not though, con these, are, these are screws by the way on the sides. As I said in the other video, it is not a conventional movement where um, any digi where the analog and digital are separate from each other. They are actually slaved to one another. So when you go to change the time, you're actually changing both the analog and the digital at the same time. It's all done kind of, you know, via this, this H851 movement, done, done via a mechanism inside. You can't just unscrew the crown and expect that you are going to change the time. You're not. Okay? Um, I just changed the seconds, if you noticed. Uh, so they are linked to each other. It has screw down crown on the right and has screw down pushers on the left. And really nice that they give you that ring. So if you are going to dive and you see the red, you know that your buttons are unscrewed and you should not dive. You need to seat them properly. The movement does a whole bunch of stuff. Again, I covered this in the other video. Uh, it is a chronograph. It is an alarm. It is a full calendar, and it is a dual timer. It does have a really nice bezel. A steel bezel, I'm going to assume. It's kind of what it feels like. As I mentioned, the price is $550. Let me show you the other one. So this is the SNJ029. Done a very similar motif. that We've swapped out for a tan, a tan strap now. Okay. Still though matching uh, PVD buckle and hardware. See, we have a PVD case, you see the case, and then the uh, 
black case guard. Oh, in this one, if you realize the case guard was green, I'm not sure if I said that. So on this one, the case guard is black. Uh, chaptering is done to match the strap on this one. I thought that was a nice touch. Uh, just again, an all around, really nice looking watch. Let us check out what the loom looks like. There you go. They both glow awesome. I would say that it is a blue Luma Bright. Um, I'm wearing an Islander and it's green. So yeah, different shades. So it's like a blue Luma Bright. Um, but of course, it is really simple uh, to read the watch. And you have a dot uh, at the bezel on the, at the 12 o'clock. I almost forgot to show top left button gives you a light uh, to light up the analog display. So here it is on my six and three quarter inch wrist above if I can kind of get it below, the rubber is sticking to me a little bit. Below, the size is okay, 50 on tip to tip. It's large, I wear my watches large. You notice though the tail at my wrist size is coming up high. Um, it's about as high as I can get the keeper, so I either want to trim that or do something else to it. Um, you'll notice it will go on a much smaller wrist, but at that point the tail is going to be like up here. Uh, so you wonder what the thought was there. Uh, but on the growth, my goodness, this will fit a monster wrist. Probably close to a nine inch wrist, I'm gonna guess. Like I, I'm, I'm guessing the strap, it's a true dive strap, right? So it's gonna be super long to fit around a wetsuit, but it does look good. It has a ton of presence. So that'll wrap it up. This has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you the two new uh, Seiko Arnies. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.